Pokemon today's video I am teaching you guys how to put your PS4 controller on your PC now before this video starts see if we can get like five likes it'd be amazing and yet uh, why not subscribe we're gonna start doing PC videos as much as console videos and gaming videos we do gaming videos for the most part on this channel so let's get into it <clears throat> for the first part you want to come to this website I'll leave you in the first top link in the description below it's forms dot pcss dot well two dot net and I'll take you to this very exact page once you get here you see this right here this is what it's gonna look like at first but yeah you want to scroll all the way down so scroll all the way down till you get to this part with the attached files you do not want to put none of these except the last one the ds4 tool 1.2.2 2. if there's any more updates for this um pit that one and look through it so what do you want to go to and click on that and let it download see here it is with the download folder yeah it pops right up now what you want to do is click on the virtual bus driver it's right here if you guys didn't see it and click on the SCP driver now what you guys do is extract it once you get it here and extract it press extract and then replace it because I tried to do it before but yeah my audio was out so no matter so just don't show this again and I'm a goof there we go it'll pop up this folder in <clears throat> and what I want you guys to do is go to virtual bus driver and now what I want you guys to do is get your USB charger to your uh, PS4 controller and hold down first hold the, um, the PlayStation button and the share button at the same exact time till it starts blinking now after that you want to put the uh, charger into the the computer and into the PS4 controller once you get to this point you want to go to the SCP driver right here so just install that so once we, I got it right here actually so give me one minute and I'll show you downloads It'd be right here for me and it should tell me my things more great actually so go to SCP driver and it should pop up this SCP driver dot exe no harm to your computer now click on force install and install so you see all the info right here <clears throat> there we go now you can exit this program right here you go to the second program so let's exit out of this and go to back right here on this one and it's just a SCP server so you should go back to the main part of this and you go to the SCP servers and you'll know it'll be working because it says controller I, I already is wait what one controller one ready yeah controller one ready to use once it says that and you want to change the color of the light on the controller you can press options now it gives you these options right here you can change the light color so let's see I'm not sure what this part is so I do not mess with this guys that's actually very important to keep as it is but if you want to change the color what you do you will click on the color and pop up this you can if you look at your controller after you turn it on and keep it connected it will change color too so I'm gonna change mine to this black and turned off it looks like it's turned off if I turn to this red right here blood red sweet now I'm gonna keep that and what we can do we can set it and save it so what I'm going to do to tell I'm not pulling your leg. You minimize that, but it looks like it's not there. But look, I'm going crazy with my mouse, even though I got me a laptop. That's my controller's touchpad. I'm going to uh, download a NES off the App Store. So here's another one for you guys. Type in this NES block. Is it on? It's alright, sweet. NES block emulator. Once you get here, 
If I have the NES block emulator, click on that. It's going to work mine. I played this before. I'm going to use my Juggernog Black Ops 3 controller. So, as you can see, let me put on the. That's mine. Let's do. Alright. Go back to my recording and put on my webcam. Right here. Oh. I'm going to use my touchpad to control my mouse. And there you go. See my finger controlling it? And look, my TV ain't even on. So, that's the webcam for you. Always, you can use your mouse too if you want to. So, let me take off the webcam. There you go. And once it's restore my data, uh, we're close to being there. And if you guys want me to play some more Undertales, that's on my channel too. It's like two videos from this one. So go check it out. On six min minutes, so let's we can actually draw something. Well, undo. Let's undo that. Now we can open this back. Undo. All right, so this, these games go to Nintendo, so it ain't mine. Especially you guys already know that. So what you what you can do is click on my games and look through these. So let me minimize my recorder. And now what you want to do is at home, just type in super. No, no, we don't have that. Sweet. Add. So we don't have none of them. We don't need them. I want to get, say, Super Mario Bros. Just, alright. Now this is being a bug. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Click on that, and it says, this game is not in your library. Click search to look for this game on the internet. There we go. It'll take you to a Google link. Oh, you can't see out of that. You can go to a free roams. And we can wait 12 seconds. But it even works for Nintendo games, if you guys want to know. It works for almost any game, so go look at the description of what it does not work for. Alright, the direct link is clicked on, and it's right here, pop up, so right here, the NES block will start up, and then start, and I'm playing it.